A 14 and a half hour Air Canada flight from Sydney will see you in Vancouver. Vancouver is the landing point for West Coast arrivals into Canada. It's the gateway to the Rocky Mountains and the sublime Vancouver Island. While the city itself is truly beautiful too. This is the shipyards. Now, once it had an amazing maritime history, today it's a destination for locals and visitors alike. And you've got some spectacular views too. To the south, Vancouver City. And in the backdrop here, you've got the North Shore Mountains covered in snow. They're just stunning. There's a lot going on here. Great restaurants and cafes, shops and services. I can't believe I'm discovering it for the first time. My first stop is the Main Street Honey Shop, which is home to not only honey, but a ton of bee-related products. I'm excited to meet owner Tony Lovesey to hear all about it. Well, the locals like local honey. So we have local honey from the city, from mm -hmm. urban honey. We have our own hives in parks actually in Vancouver. We have honey from across BC, so we know beekeepers from across BC. So we get mountain honey, fireweed honey from the mountains and we bring in honey from around the world. That's fantastic, great shop, I love it. Sticking to the sweet theme, ice cream. Yes, please. This is Welcome Parlor Ice Cream, an authentic natural ice creamery that uses natural ingredients that are in season to produce small batches that are always freshly churned. Now, I love a great ice cream shop. How did you get into this business? That's a bit of a long story. Um, I used to work in the music industry and the last five years, I was based in Asia and being vegetarian, could rarely find real vegetarian food. So every time I used to travel, I used to say, Cabby, take me to the best ice cream place. So when I retired from that industry, I was like, what could I do that I know a lot about? And I was like, I know a lot about ice cream. Ice cream. And good ice cream, yeah. But there's a common theme to it all, isn't there? There is indeed, yeah. I mean, our, our, our company's credo is to have ice cream produced that is natural. What do you think I should um, try? What I are think you, you should try a mint chocolate chip. All right, yeah, let's do it. Absolutely, let's, let's get you one of those. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow. It's good, huh? That's sensational. There's so much more than just food and drink at the shipyards. There's a lot of culture, community, and incredible creativity on show too. Make sure you check this place out. Located on the waterfront, you'll find the Polygon Gallery, a local institution that's been championing local artists for over 40 years. Faye Bednarczyk explains. The Polygon Gallery itself has been here for around five years. Before that, we were up the hill for almost 40 years as Presentation House Gallery. So we have a long curatorial history, but we were seeking a new space and we worked with the city and managed to secure this incredible waterfront location in the heart of the shipyards. So we've been able to build a purpose-built, beautiful two-story art museum where we get to feature photography and media-based art. Tell me a little bit about the different exhibitions. We work with international artists, we work with local artists, emerging, established. Mm -hmm. We curate most of our exhibitions ourselves and occasionally have some touring shows as well. Our admission is by donation every single day. You know, we're all about accessibility. We want people to feel welcome. Everybody is welcome here. And one more thing that's really important for anybody who's visiting, if you want a unique Vancouver gift to take back to somebody special. This is a great spot to go through, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a little biased, but I love our gallery store. We really work hard with our buyers to bring in uh, local makers. We in feature international makers as well, um, local artisans. It's quite a curated selection of works, and it's uh, really a great spot to hit. My last stop is Streetcar Brewing. The head brewer, Tom Morrison, seems to know what he's talking about. What are you doing here? I'm just taking the grain out. So right. when we mash, we mix the water and the grain together. Yep. So I've got all the sugar out of this grain. Right. It's basically useless like oatmeal. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna be scraping it out and this is gonna be sent away to either get in, mixed into some sort of animal feed yep. or to be composted. I'm doing at least four brews a week, about 200 liters at a time. Right. Which is fun, because then we can play with a whole lot of different flavors. Okay, well, how about you finish this and we'll go and try some? That sounds good to me. <laughs> Right, we've got a Mexican lager. Yep. Our peach rattler. This is our most popular beer. 
the Arclight Hazy IPA, right. which is one of my favorites. Yeah. And then finally, we've got the Raspberry Lemonade Sour. Is this fresh fruit? It's fresh fruit. It's all pureed and processed right here with us. Anything you try here, cantaloupe, raspberry lemonade, margarita, we hand, we hand treat it here. This is fantastic. I love the fact that it's small batch too, mate. That's even more authentic. Yeah, I really like the small batch. That's why I made the jump, is there's just so much more creative freedom and there's so many more things to play with. Thanks so much. But I do think I'll probably need to work my way back through these as well. Of course. All right, let's do it. Cheers.